hello everybody i am back again for my second video of the night <clears throat> and my final video of the night i just wanted to come through really quick and go over some items i bought from max holiday collection and these were the mini pigments <clears throat> i got two i got um the teal pigments um you know why they call them teal it's really nothing green in here and then <clears throat> I also got the um, purple pigments. Um, so this is what they look like out. That's the package they come in. <clears throat> They're really small, but it has a lot in here. And here is a MAC lipstick. This is a regular lipstick. Um, but yeah, they are big enough. There's a lot of stuff in here. I did sample everything for you ladies so you can have it. Uh, a picture of what it looks like and I also attached pictures at the ends but there was five in here they were $32.50 I believe um, I think it's a good deal because regular pigments are about 20 bucks you get a little bit bigger of a bottle but you're really not going to use all those pigments in a lifetime unless you're a girl that wears a pigment every single day which most of us don't we wear shadows <clears throat> but pigments are very good because there is pretty much a crushed eyeshadow. The thing about MAC is that they have a lot of glitter pigments, which honestly you can get you can get glitter from the beauty supply store that a lot of that glitter that's for your nails. It can also be used, um, you know, if you put a little glue on it, it can also be used for your eyeshadow. Um, Hobby Lobby has glitter, so you can get glitter anywhere. Um you know, depending on what you like or what you're looking for. But I just thought this was a great deal. I bought this as a Christmas gift to myself. Um, and like I said, it came with five of the colors <clears throat> for the purple kit. And the colors for the purple kit, I do, I have samples on my arm. So I want to kind of show um, both of them first. Um, this is the teal as well. And it comes to five. And it does have like the little MAC symbol on there. I don't know if you can see it, but um, it does say MAC on there. Some of some of the ones are um, so glittery that you can't see the MAC, but like this one, it says MAC on there, so you can definitely see. But they're really cute. I like them. I think it was worth the money for me. Um, and a lot of them are very pigmented. The glitters are very hard to sample, but I did go ahead and sample them anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and go over the purple pigment first. <clears throat> and here's the purple pigment. And I'll get up so you can see. Okay. So this color here, <clears throat> it for the purple, it was in the purple box. And it is called um, Vanilla. This one here is Kitschmas, like Christmas, I guess. This one, they just call it pink glitter. And this purple one is my favorite in this kit. It's called Push to the Edge. Um, it's really nice. And then um, this one, they just call it the gray glitter. So it's really nice. I really like that one. And now, as far as the gold packet is, is um, goes, there's also five in here. I did sample these a little bit larger. I, I, I sampled with them Q-tips, so... I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out, but this one here is called Reflex Gold because it's white. It is the white one in the packet, but it does still reflect gold, and I'll show you what that looks like. And as you can see, it still reflects very gold. This one here is called the 3D Gold Glitter. Not sure if you ladies remember a few years ago, MAC had the 3D Silver Glitter, which was very popular. Um, don't know if they still have it. I don't believe that they do, but now they have the 3D gold and this is the only way you can get it. And this one here <clears throat> is called Old Gold. And I really love this one. So I really like that one. And then this one um, is called Just Before Dawn. It's kind of a, a taupe color. It's kind of purple gray topish and then this one is the color um deep blue green and i like that one too i like the flat pigments a lot more than the um glitter pigments only because the glitter pigments are very hard to work with um 
So for you ladies that like glitter, um, definitely get yourself some glitter glue. I did have a few that I want to show you that I use. This one is so old, um, but it's not really for glitter. It's actually for a um, eyeshadow base sealer. This is LA Splash. They used to sell it at Ulta. I haven't seen it lately at Ulta, but I really love this one. As you can see, it's almost empty. Once you put this on, your eyeshadow, your glitter, whatever, is not going anywhere. This one is really good. They sell it at Walmart, but I do think that it may be um, only at certain Walmarts. I actually had to go on eBay and get it. It's by Hard Candy. It is called um, Showgirls, Showgirl Secrets Glitter Glue. So this is really awesome. Um, you just put it on a brush or a Q-tip or even on your finger. You let it dry just a little bit and then you dip your finger or the Q-tip or your brush into the glitter or the pigment and then you move it around as need be. This one I just found in Target. Um, I found this in Target about three weeks ago. Elf, Elf uh, Lock and Seal. I really like this one. It's actually what I use to apply all these to my arm. And they did not move as you can see. Um, and this one was about $2. This is about $7.99 or $7 on the website. And then this one, I just so happened to find an eBay seller that was selling two for $7, but they're normally $10 each in the store. So um, those are some glitter glue ideas if you are looking for something other than the Too Faced um, glitter insurance. Um, because that is $20 a pop and I know for some ladies that can be very pricey so if you're looking for some cheaper alternatives definitely check out the elf lock and seal my number one hint with for this um, or suggestion would be to let this dry a little bit because it is very wet it's almost like using eye drops it probably is the same solution as eye drops but it's very um, once once you put this on your brush it gets very soaked so you need to let it dry a little bit then apply another thing is you want to make sure you rinse your brush off because if you don't <laughs> when it says lock and sealed it means lock and sealed it is hard like your brushes are crunchy afterwards so make sure you check that out and make sure you use properly and follow directions thank you guys so much for watching again i hope you enjoyed my um pigments show for all and I'll i love your face you love the taste, that sugar bear.